everybody. Thanks again for joining us here on Geek Tech Industries. Stick is here, coming at you from the Hyperspace Trials here at West Coast GT in Vancouver, BC. I am super freaking stoked to be here, and I'm also super stoked to have my compatriot Drea, I mean Graham, at my side here. <laughs> Say hi, Graham. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, thanks for the introduction there, Glenn. How's it going, everybody? Awesome, awesome. Glad to have you here so we can talk shit about these guys. I mean, give commentary <laughs> for these guys. Yeah, there's a lot of swarms here today. A lot of beefy swarms. Yeah, man. Um, so today, we are going to be bringing you... Let me go ahead and bring that up. We're just going to hyper ourselves into the battlefield here. That's pretty fancy. All right, so there we go. We got the overlays up. We have Darren Weston on the left side here. Uh, four Gray Squadron Bombers with Ion Cannon Turret, Ion Torpedoes, R4 Astromech, and Proton Bombs. Oh, geez, and the timer is going, so hold on. Let me get that going. All right, timer is live, and we are go! This is pretty exciting. Oh, hey, uh, play property. Uh, it's Larry. Yeah. Oh, is that Larry? Hey, yeah. Larry, what's going on? Hey, Paul, th thanks for noticing. I, I put a lot of effort into that hyperspace effect, a whole two, three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then Greg we got here on the other side. Oh, I got to figure out who is player one and sort that out. So we got Greg doing a ridiculously awesome swarm. The paint so we jobs, you can't five. see them either, but they're beautiful. You oh, my a, God, yeah. So really five good Alpha play. Squadron uh, interceptors and Wampa. Like, that's just, that's just pure it's efficiency be, is what that is. It's going to be interesting. Um, I think him having the lower pilot skill might be tough for him. And then the biggest issue I'm seeing here is the bombs. The bombs are going to be rough. Yeah, no, I agree on that. I agree. Is my sound coming through okay? Uh, I might have to just say fuck it. How's that? that oh, you're coming way better. Okay. There's a little bit of background noise, but yeah, it's to be expected. Yeah, 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 those proton bombs are going to be tough. Um, this is definitely going to be a dice game, I think. Um, I think so. Well, no, it's going to be a flying game. But the oh, and there he is, starting off. The interceptors. Don't a medium have any mods fast there. Focus. Hey, Colton! Glad you could join us, buddy. Uh, oh, audio is doubled? Yeah, I get a little loud and a little close to the mic. Ah, oh, crap. Right, just put it back to the one. I can talk close. Yeah, just get your face closer to the mic. Hello. Oh, God, <laughs> not in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. So, looks like Greg has an interesting strategy. Split everything up to force your opponent to either go after one section or another. So he's got two on the top, two in the middle, two on the bottom. I think and separating is a good call. Um, you definitely don't want to joust a list like that because you're just going to get mowed down. So he's making the Y-Wings have to decide which they're going to yeah, attack Yeah, Yeah, he's, he's forcing his opponent to commit to something. Yeah. And then once his opponent's committed, he should just be able to swoop in and wreck the shit out of him. I think this is one of the few Rebel lists we actually have here today as well, and this should be mentioned, it doesn't have Leia Organa. I know. I What? I know. <laughs> but, I mean, it is a Y-Swarm. That's kind of pretty standard, I would think, for the Y Swarm now. He's just decided to opt out the fifth Y and then put in more yeah. stuff. Yeah, exactly. Which might be in his favor. We'll see. I don't know. Just the pure efficiency of those interceptors, though. Oh, my God. that This list just, it had me at go. It had me at hello, you know? <laughs> I personally hate Y-Wings. I might get some booze out there for that. Um, I've tried to fly them many times. They're just not my style. Um, I do love the ship. I just, They're slugs. They're goddamn I, yeah, slugs is my problem. It's just not my play style. Yeah. It's really not. But um, I can see why people are playing them. It's just that very typical rebel beef right now where you got yep. lots of hull, lots of shields, lots of firepower. Yep. And you just if hope you can the keep, dice are on your side. Yeah, if you can keep rotating your targets through, yep. oh, you chew through my shields, e eat this one now. Yep. You know, and just uh, force your opponent to just keep changing his target and priority. Mm -hmm. That's why I all right, so there's Greg all done his moves. Game. He's got uh, some interceptors coming up on the bottom of the board. I think those are bait, to be honest. And it uh, looks like he's moving Wampa up towards the top of the board. And that last Alpha Squadron pilot coming through the middle. 
Uh, where's Wampa? Uh, that's Wampa right there. Oh, yeah, he's hanging back. So I don't really have uh, the ability to draw on the overlay right now. That's just not working. Uh, so Wampa is actually the one hanging back in the top right of the board there. He's uh, slightly off kilter at a jaunty angle. Yeah, I'm not sure if the three bank there will actually let him yep. go around that rock properly next turn. It's hard to tell, but he might be okay. He might be all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Paul, you're right. Uh, choice of torpedoes over veteran turret gunner is definitely very different. Different. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I think protons are actually really underrated in the meta right now, and a lot, a lot of people are playing them. I think that three point hike kind of scared a lot of people off. But, it really did. Um, I think for 12 points even, they're still so powerful. Like at our store, um, Drop Zone Games in Nanaimo, that's a shout out. <laughs> uh, plug, plug, plug. Plug, plug. Um, they, or we have a lot of Proton Torpedo players there. So it's it's definitely something you have to be worried about. You don't want to joust that sort of thing. So no, think, heck no. Yeah, I think Greg is just trying to figure out the best way to approach this without just losing one ship in one shot. Yeah, well, that's the thing. With these ships, um, you kind of got to jockey around a bit, so. Oh, they're ion torpedoes. Oh, yeah, I, yes, these, oh, okay. he's packing ions. He's got so much ion. He's got uh, ion torpedoes, ion turrets, um, proton bombs. Well, proton bombs aren't ion, but still. Uh, I you guess think I have to with the list right here in front of me. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that! Amazing. Oh, wow, that's incredible. Like, yeah, you think with the uh, with the ion cannon turret instead of skilled bombardier, you'd go with the veteran turret gunner. Mm -hmm. But of course, skilled bombardier is way cheaper. Yeah, two points. Which which lets them fit in everything else into the rest of the list, yeah. right? So. Yeah, nice 50 across the board. Yep. I, I find we're seeing a lot more uh, four 50-point ship lists going around right now. There's a lot of the Fang Fighter swarm going around, and yep. I mean, of course, we have to. I haven't seen any quad phantoms late. Uh, just because I haven't been looking, but I'm sure there's oh, at least one out there. Phantoms quad phantoms oh, here. They're not, they're not legal oh, no, that's right. That's, yeah, uh, yeah. that's extended. Well, I was just about to bring them up because they're technically like 50 points each. I think they're like 51, 51, 51, and 47. Because the one has crack shot now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you have to sack the one with juke yeah. and give it something else instead. But still, like three like jukes and a crack shot, the three jukes shoot. And then the crack shot guy shoots. That's right. Like, that's, right. that's just how that works. Yeah. Oh, dials are down. 27 people watching. That's awesome. Yeah, it's not bad. Thanks, everybody, for joining us again. We really appreciate you joining us. Oh, and there he is. Looks like a forward four. Let's get this in a little bigger. Oh, that's right. Now I can see it. <laughs> there we go. We're watching this on a laptop about 10 feet away from the actual table so that our bullshit commentary doesn't actually give away any strategy. Yeah, that's a beautiful setup. Thanks. Uh, did, you, did you go by Stickus or can I use your... You can your, use my name. Okay. Uh, I go by Stickus, Glenn, asshole, oh, okay. you. Oh, okay. You? Hey, you. Hey, you. you. Know? Hey, you. Well, I think you're like, why you? I was like, you have like some kind of Chinese origin? <laughs> or? <laughs> I am honorarily Chinese now. <laughs> Is Will uh, going to be watching this? Sorry? Is Will going to be watching this? Uh, maybe. Uh, his wife is, I know. Oh, is she? Okay. Tally Bally, hi! Mm. So, yeah, he was, he was Greg pushing right those up. interceptors in up top. <laughs> and then bringing in the bottom ones. He's got some sort of pincer maneuver going on here. I feel like he might do a barrel roll left here boost. But I mean, it's gonna leave him open. No, no I'm pretty just, sure. I'm pretty sure he's gonna barrel roll. Gonna in. Barrel yeah, roll. you got the barrel okay. roll left, right? Yeah. But uh, in this case, he wanted to focus to Ooh. make sure he'd get to his mods turned up. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be tricky though, because if those decide to one bank or two turn in, they're gonna have shots. Well, yeah, I got a feeling if I if I was Darren, I'd be coming to the right. Yeah. And wreck that poor little dude right there. Yeah. Yeah, he can't oh, just good keep point, going. Deity. Good point. Uh, he doesn't need to worry about uh, the double tap. Just push into range one. Yeah. yeah Four dice it. ion. Suck it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and the fact that I mean it's three dice versus three, but I've seen interceptors blank out all too many times. Man. Well, because no, here before to, that to ion cannon base. turret uh, gives you your bonus dice for range That's one. That's right. That's right. So yeah. that can be real scary when you only got three other hit points. 
Exactly. You know exactly where they're going to go. Yeah. So you yeah. eye on them, drop the bomb, and interceptors hate proton bombs they so do. much. That's why I think this matchup is in Darren's favor, but it really comes down to how well Greg is going to fly this. Yeah. Um, I think he's uh, got a good approach here, though. This is a good uh, kind of cutoff he's got going for the Y Wings. They really can either only go, let's we'll see what he's going to do here. Yeah. Um, rear view one, yes, this is still the first round. Oh, wow. We're okay. just getting started. Oh, he caused the bomb! Yeah. Look at that. Oh, man. Well done by Greg. Now the question here is, is he going to dedicate the whole swarm to those four forwards, or is he going to... Yeah, I, I agree. I think he was going for that 4K as well. And, uh, and is not going to pull it off. I'm curious to see what he's going to do with the back two, because he could have decided to bank these down to the right. Yeah. Um, if not, he's still going to have a range one shot on that interceptor in front. The two yeah, I mean, the, the other two following up behind, they yeah. are going to wreck that poor little interceptor. Oh, yes. Oh, he's okay. only slow rolling. Cool, okay. So he's going to have focuses with those ones. Yeah. Uh, 8 bit deity, I'm not sure if they've played much together. Um, I, I'm not actually from the area, so I don't even know if they have, uh, even play in the same uh, uh, same stores. Yeah, I don't know either, either of these players either. There's a, there's a whack load of folks from uh, Vancouver proper here. Most of us, uh, the, well, no, I was going to say, Gre uh, uh, Dre and I here um, <laughs> are both from the island, yeah. uh, Vancouver Island, and uh, came over specifically to play in stream. Yeah, so. yeah. Looks like, uh, that poor little, that interceptor in the middle there might have a bad day. <laughs> I can't see. Oh, thank you, Colton. Darren is from PG. Uh, Prince George. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, he can't fight the waves. That's, oh, yeah. Hey, cool. man. Hyperspace, yeah. you gotta. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, communities, it, it, it differs. It's a little fractionated. Yeah, so uh, Victoria, which is South Vancouver Island, uh, I would say there's probably the majority of the players in that vicinity. Um, we actually have quite a growing community in the North Island, so we do have a Facebook page for that. You guys have been doing great building that community. I'm so proud to it's see fantastic. it. It's fantastic. So, yeah, oh, we there we go. Oh, oh, we got some shots yeah, starting. We'll, we'll talk about that. A hit and a mitt. Oh, so that is the front top Y-Wing shooting at Wampa, range, range three. three. Wampa says... That looks like a blank and two focus. He's going to spend it and turn that into two evades. I like to think we have some decent players on the island. Um, we got some folks like Andrew Lauritsen, yeah, who, uh, if you guys follow most of the podcasts, he's he's involved with that sort of thing. Yeah, Ray Lent. Ray, Ray, Ray won his very first tournament by walking in and being like, hey, what's this cool game? Cool. Bought 150 bucks for the ships and won. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a smart guy. So it looks like he's taken that rear top on that... Poor little bumped interceptor here. Range two. And so that's one hit into one evade with the focus. Oh, no. I, I think, I, think I missed something there. Was no, there I think an evade? he target locked those two Ys in the back. Sorry? That's a target lock there, I think. So, yeah, so that's a... Pro, oh, now that's this is uh, proton, him shooting back. Or no, sorry, the ion torpedo. Oh! Three hits and a crit. Yeah, yeah he target locked with the two Ys. Oh, <laughs> natties. Oh, he's still taking one damage off that. Yeah, he's taking no the crit. Ion, though. Uh, no, there won't be a crit. I'm going to double check which one that's on and get that up. It's on a crit. Huh? It's on a crit. It's ion, it's no, ion it's torpedo. ion. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. so it just mitigates it to one hit. Wait, which one was he shooting? Uh, No. Uh, oh, he's trying to figure out the number. 
Focus. Oh, no, blank. Oh, it's these guys here. Okay. Yeah. Why was he shooting four dice? Who's at range one? Ion, the Ion Torpedo. Oh, the Ion Torpedo. That's right. Yeah, we have a pretty good growing community in uh, on Vancouver Island. It's, I mean, we did lose some players. Um, Ooh, three hits. To 2.0. That's kind of expected. You got people that just don't want to spend Into a focus. Just uh, updating these with some numbers here. Make it a little easier to sort out who's taken what. Good God, five interceptors. That's lovely. <laughs> There we go, now we got some numbers up on that. I'm just waiting for my Alpha Class Starwing to come into hyperspace. That's my baby. Oh man, any I want, day. I want Major Vinder back, man. He's, Major Vinder. He's so good. Oh, and the last guy shooting here. Looks like he's going for... Oh, they're, they're doing run? some careful measuring here. Oh, the far one is just a little too far. I don't understand what you mean, Tommy. I Do you understand what he there. No, I have no idea. Oh, we got one, two, three, four oh, on one of the Y wings there. Woohoo! You want to double check which one that is? Thanks. Oh, hit, hit, crit. And one so focus result. And four damage cards on Y wing number one. On Y wing number and one. Two shields on Y wing number two. Number two? Okay, hold on. And so Y wing number one has one, two, three, four. So two hat points left. And Y wing number two has shields down? Yeah. All right. And, and then anything on the interceptors? Um, oh, I didn't look at those. We're, we're about 15, 15 feet away or so from the table, so they can't hear us. But it also means that we can't see things terribly well, what's actually going on. So I got, uh, I got Drea checking that. I mean, Graham checking that out for me. So one damage on one of the interceptors. That would be the guy in the front here. Okay, we'll call him number three. And then two more shields. So that was, that was not a good engagement for, uh, for Darren. That was not a good engagement. And that's two number... Two more shields on the on the other one there. Well, it looks like there's a damage card against his hull. Oh, yeah, he would have just taken that. Yeah. So that was number two? Uh, three. He took oh, two shields, and one one. two shields and the crit. Do you know what crit that was? <laughs> Thank you, sir. I can't read them. <laughs> oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, um, I might need to make a quick adjustment to the dice cam that there. That was a damaged engine crit card, so that's pretty rough Ooh. on a wild wing. Damaged engine on, which one was that, number, number three? three? Okay. Ouch. Like they don't already have enough red. All of Greg's dice were really good. Yeah. That's true, that R4 makes it a little less crippling. But it's still going to be a little problematic. Oh, oh my God, we have light. <laughs> I guess there were some, some lights here that weren't working so good, and they just had somebody poke one, and now there's light in our, in our workstation. And I'm all like... <laughs> yeah, exactly, Paul. That two-turn is white again. It's not like it's turning red. Thankfully, it's not like, oh, your turns are red now, like it used to be. Yeah. It's just increased difficulty. Yeah. I actually like the wording on that with all the different crits and what yeah. they've done. Hand away from your mouth. They can't see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have it. Yeah. <laughs> That's my job to mumble. That's right. Oh, there we go. 
Greg committing hard on the top there. Like I said, it's definitely a dice game. Um, Greg rolls well, he's going to win. Yep. Like he just has the, the numbers yep. to do so. Oh. 8-bit deity. Can't 3-hard now. Yeah, it's a purple move now. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you got forest, no 3-hard turn. I'm pretty sure it's capped it's cap at red. It's capped at red. They went, o they went over that in the rule book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you can't have a purple maneuver if you don't have force. That's correct. Well, that, that initial engagement did not go it. well for I think Darren. He's thinking about maybe doing a boost? No. No, he I think he's staying where he is. Could have been a good uh, boost um, right there. See, without the ball. stress, now he's got the ability to K turn next turn or sloop. That's true, yeah. They do have that beautiful green two, or blue, I'm a I little say, confused as to that as well. Um, maybe Darren missed his trigger on that. Uh, just to be clear, we are not judges, yeah. and if it's a you may, sorry, they and missed it. Yeah. If I see somebody actually cheating, though, I'll call a judge and be like, judge, there's a problem. There is also the possibility in the situation that he didn't want to hit his Y-wings in the back with the proton bombs. Mm. Oh, that's that. They're, yeah, it's harder to get them away from that's his right. own proton bomb. Yeah, so you might see in the next turn him yeah. drop some bombs. Yeah, I Paul, I have a feeling that uh, that is what he did, that he didn't want to hit his own ships. Oh, oh, oh bump fast. Now Red Lobster. Now, I agree. It's way more crippling on the uh, on the TIE Fighters than it is on the Y-Wings. And uh, personally, I think he should have done it and just sacrificed the Y-Wing, as it were. The other option as well is that he just dropped one proton bomb out of the one on the bottom right. Yeah, yeah. Um, knowing that it was most likely going to hit the one in the front. Yeah. No, I 100% agree with you on that. Because otherwise, if he dropped two, hoping that uh, Greg was going to come in hot, Ooh, then he's just around. automatically losing one of his oh, own wings. Oh, he wants to kill that poor bastard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And they are stressed from last turn. I think they did four straights. Isn't the four straight red? Uh, they're four straight and they're four K turn. Yeah, so I don't think he tried to K turn last turn. I think he I'm, tried to I'm honestly not straight. sure. I would I would have expected honestly a K turn out of that so that he can get all the guns on whatever's in the middle. Maybe. Yeah. You build that kill box, right? It's just if he does a maneuver like that so early on, then it's going to take him two turns to turn around and have guns on anything. And I think at that point he's just losing two Y wings. So. Yeah. No, I agree with you on that. And Greg just focusing as hard as he can there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, those Y-Wings starting their slow roll forward from the look of it. Oh, no, he's turning out. Interesting. I think he might be right there, uh, Deity. Bow, stare, your face, your ass, what's the difference? <laughs> Sorry, a little Duke Nukem for you today. I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that one interceptor uh, all lonely up in the top left there. He is not in a good place. No, he is not. If, if he gets some bad rolls, oh, shit. That is not what I expected. I like that. I like that. Uh, kind of a splitting them up. Those two interceptors with the uh, the orange bases the there, they're going to feed that poor Y-Wing. Yeah. Well, they're going to have to turn left, or they're going to be eating a shit ton of bombs. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be bad. <laughs> we can only imagine as well that these players have most likely played this these lists for quite a while at this point. Yeah. Um, I think it's rare that someone comes into a big tournament like this and... It's, you know, they're flying a list for the first time. Yeah. Oh, man, that was me last year. Right? Because I was like, ah, oh, I should fly this list. I've got all this practice in. Nah, fuck it. <laughs> I played Kylo in two noobs. Yeah, I know. That was dumb. That was dumb. It didn't help that, like, the first round. Oh, no, it was Rhodes, wasn't it? It was the Rowboats. That was two Rowboats, robots, yeah. yeah. It didn't help that the first round I miscounted my opponent's um, uh, totals. 
and thought I had a five point lead. And it turns out I was actually behind by five 10 points. points. 10 points. No. And so I was like, huh, we got 15 minutes left. Yeah, I'll just run for the next 15 minutes. That's easy with Kylo. Uh, uh. And I defeated myself. <laughs> I actually had a game like that too. But I mean, I was that guy playing triple defenders. So yep. I probably deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> Lost I agree, problems. Paul. Fly what's fun, not what might be good. Fly what you're familiar with. Absolutely. If you've been flying hot garbage for a year, that's going to be some pretty good garbage when you actually go to fly it. Yeah. Well, I'm playing Re the Rebel Beef today, like a lot of other players are. I don't see as many people playing B-Wings as I am. I see a lot of uh, X-Wings, of course, and, and yeah, U-Wings, yeah. Y-Wings. But um, I'm hoping that... The experience I have with B-Wings from 1.0 and just how much I play them will give me the upper edge. But, I mean, and all, once again, it's a game of dice. It is. It so is. We'll see what happens. It's all about maximizing the ability to get your dice going. That's right. right? That's so. Right. Yes, Tommy, I played myself. Oh, combat starts. Holy smokes. What a start. Hit, hit, crit right off. And, oh, using the reroll from the target lock into that guy right there. Oh! oh no. Two focuses. But that poor little ship had no focus, which means there it is. And a pair of eyes. I'll check damage after. So that's number three. That's the one that's already taken board. damage, I believe. I think it is, yeah. There we go, got that caught up. <laughs> Larry, play properly. Yes, you are the king of the non-metas. It's very true. <laughs> yeah, we always love your creativity, Larry. You're like, oh man, this is this is so thematic. I have to fly it. I mean, I think nobody's as happy as I was. Okay, that, so it looks like the U next one in, is that middle Y-wing shooting at Wampa. There is one player oh, here range playing one. four U-Wings today, Larry. I thought you would appreciate it. Uh, it looks like three dice primary. Uh, I might have to make a quick adjustment to the dice cam there. I'll be right back. Oh, it's off uh, It's cutting off the top. Oh, yeah. That's one of eight. Uh, I think this is a range one ion cannon, it looks like. No, that was a primary, I believe. And, uh, wow, those aren't showing at all. That's three hits from Darren. And it looks like he got ionized. Oh yeah, that all went through. So that uh, interceptor is going to be hitting a bomb next turn. Uh, looks like a couple bombs. I think that interceptor is dead next turn, Glenn. He just got double ionized. Um, the middle one's not double ionized, this and one. this one's double ionized. Oh, yeah, so they're going to be eating some bombs next turn. Oh, I'm pretty sure about it. I actually really like four. that strategy. I think the idea of ionizing somebody and making them fly into your bomb is kind of cheeky. But, I mean, it's obviously efficient when it works. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And with a new range bonus on ion cannons. Why not? He's basically right? shooting four dice ions every turn. No, That's I really agree. good. Oh, well, we got nothing. That's a whip. All right, so it looks like Greg's going to get into some shooting now. Oh, yeah, he's taking that shot from Alpha Squadron number four there. Man, it's still cutting off the top. And the bottom, I guess, in this case. So it looks like that was three hits. Oh, two, two crits? Ooh. Oh! Can I'll you quickly double check what those crits are, please? On number three here. That was a second damage engine that does affect the turns now, so his turns are red again. Wow. Uh, and then the second crit was a fuel leak. 
Oh, man. Yeah, so one more crit could blow up that. You betcha. One more crit, one. and he is done. Sorry guys, Glenn's just uh, trying to get that dice tray figured out. This is round one, so of course in any large tournament there's always technical difficulties to sort out. Uh, where do we have everybody uh, coming in from today? We got uh, 35 people watching. Just you guys want to write down in the chat where you're oh, from, that would be awesome. Number two. Oh, looks like that was a direct hit. Two. 45 minutes left in their rounds. London, wow, awesome. It must be wicked early or wicked late for you over there, Paul. <laughs> San Francisco and Victoria over here on the left coast. Larry, I didn't know you lived there. Thank you for that clarification. <laughs> oh, it's only 6.30 p.m. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll be up late. He's gonna, are you going to watch the whole stream there, Paul, or are you going to cap out at some point? Uh, Liverpool, Pennsylvania. Oh, boy. That looked like it was some, some hit. Oh, oh it looks like his... number one has perished. Oh, that's, number two. Oh, that's the wrong one. one. That was the one with the crits on it. Was that number one or number two? No, it was the one that had, number three was the one that blew up. It's the one that came in from behind. It had the no, no, crit, it this, had that's this on. one here. This one here. Because it was the one there that had the crits. No, that, that's the one that had the crits, right? Yeah, so you pile up all the damage cards on top of each other. Uh, I thought that was this one. Because he just dealt them to here. Oh, did he? Okay, never mind, you're right. I thought. Let me just double check. Wow, you're lucky, Paul. There's a lot of caffeine to be given out in the world. It just depends on how close the local uh, Starbucks is to you, I suppose. Oh, well, I wasn't watching. Number two and number three both died. Wow, number two and number three both packed it in. Yeah, it's a game of dice, and That's unfortunately, right. wow. the dice are not Those on interceptors. If you that roll pure good, efficiency, you, really yeah. reckon it. If you roll good, man. Yeah, they are done like dinner. He does have a couple good bombs coming out this turn, though, so this could put him in a little bit of a comeback. So it looks like uh, Greg already has 125 points. Uh, I think Darren may have some trouble getting out of this hole he dug yeah, himself. Yeah, he can't get one of those ships or both those, two of those ships at least off next turn with protons. I think that he's probably out of this game at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I think, agree. I think one Y-Wing can't take on all those dice. It's yep. not possible. Ooh, man, the, the key to X-Wing lately is bring more guns to the table. Yeah, the more dice you're rolling, the higher chance you have of getting hits. You betcha, yeah. you betcha. And get them re-rolls. I think, I think what hurt him here was not having veteran uh, turret gunner. Yeah, definitely. If he'd done the Y-Ons, this would have been a very different story. Yeah. I like his strategy. I think it's great. But you're only doing one little plank. Even if you get, you know, four crits, regardless, yeah. you're only doing one you're, damage. You're not dealing the damage. Your, yeah. your damage is the bombs in this case, which right. he hasn't used at all. So what ship is everybody most excited for from waves four and five? I'm actually really curious now that we just had wave five announced. How, how about you? What are you excited for out of that? Um, I mean, I love the ghost. I already have a ghost, of course, but uh, getting the ghost for um, hyperspace would be fantastic. Saw Guerrero's broken. 
to say no. Right oh, now. Oh, Saw zap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and intimidation. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. So good. Um, I'm actually really excited because I wasn't expecting it. I thought we were gonna get the Tri Fighter first. I think that Geonosis Starfighter looks sweet. It has some wicked shenanigans. I love Oh, the I take the tractor, uh, tractor token yes. so that I can get closer to you so I can dump the tractor token on oh, you. It's so <laughs> cool. I love that. It's so cool. And I, I like when they implement new ideas into um, the strictness of how your ship can shoot. I think the fact that it has just the bullseye arc is really really cool. I really like that. Well, it's got the really bullseye cool. and your turret. And your turret. And yeah. then, but you can't rotate your turret behind. Yeah. Only to either side or the front. Right. Otherwise, you blow yourself up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. One of the things that always kind of confused me, and I was surprised that they didn't kind of tweak it with the tie aggressor, was if you look at that ship as well, there's no real possible way for it to shoot forward. Yeah. Um, so that's something that I mean they could have done when they uh, released that ship again for. 2.0, but I mean, who knows? Maybe when they re-release the ship again, maybe they'll tweak it. Who knows? Who knows? Know. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, they've already changed stuff, so. I'm not sure if he forgot or he simply chose not to again. Um, I'm gonna have to ask him in, oh, no. in the after battle here and be like, "WTF? You're packing no. protons. I think why didn't you drop them?" I think he just forgot. Uh, maybe. I think the other thing is that his other guys at two hit points, and he didn't want to take that crit. Yeah. I mean, I he can understand being a, a bit gun shy. The Y wing on the right in the middle should be able to cater in here. Oh, I agree. I yeah. think he and should. The other one I think he should have been able to drop and get the and beetle the hell out. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you're right there, Dady. I think he's. I think he's on tilt. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I totally agree. I think. I think losing those two Y wings just has him like oh, I'm fucking done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His dice has not been. <laughs> Colton's like he forget. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice guy. Shaken player. That's a new, <laughs> yeah, new crit. New crit. Shaken player. Yeah. <laughs> You're on tilt. You were reminded of a traumatic event from your childhood. <laughs> you were minus one initiative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They should definitely make a, a player crit card. I think that'd be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, but it would still be cool. Right. Uh, there's that too as well. He might have foreseen the block and decided I'm not gonna soak two bombs. That is the Y wing, though. I believe that is at full health. Yeah. Is it not? I yeah, the one up top there no, has sorry, taken no, some the damage, but the one coming through the middle right now is, no, is that's, number four. That's, that's the one that's no. The one coming in the middle is the one that took damage. Is the one that took damage? Yeah. Oh, okay, it's the yeah. one up top that didn't. Uh, see, I still want to drop the bomb. I still want to drop the bomb. I think that's two two two. Yeah, I mean, he's got right, freaking twenty points in bombs in there. Use them. Yeah. Use them. And that's also huge against any empire. <laughs> San Francisco squadron is shaken pilot, so it refers to the post-tournament bar conditions. <laughs> shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Indubitably. Money, money. Well, we'll see by the end of the day. We're going to have some liquored up players, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, Paul, I agree. That K-turn would have been better off if he hadn't done it. <laughs> am, I, am I allowed to make a shout-out to somebody? Yeah. I just want to make a shout-out to Brendan Ray. You weren't able to make it, buddy. Congratulations on the baby. We, uh, we're sad that you're, you're not here, but... Um, we're happy that you have a, a, a little sprogan of your own that you yeah. can teach how to play X-Wing one day. That's right. You are now a man. Pass the torch. Walk tall. <laughs> can't walk in a straight line. You can't line. walk in a straight Truth. line. You can't fly in a straight line either. You just, you're, you're completely set in to banks and turds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. We got two dice primary. Oh, Natty's for the win. Best strat. Roll Nat. Into looks like one of eight to focus, and that is one damage. Uh, Must uh, walk in a which one was that? That was one damage. that hasn't been <laughs> shot. Is that number two? Yeah, I think that's number two. Uh, did you want to just die? Yeah, he didn't have a shot on that guy, so it's got to be number two. Yeah, I would have still dropped the bomb there. Like, he would have hit maybe three ships, it looks like. Sorry? He would have, If he had just dropped that bomb there knowing that he was going to get bumped, I would have just... Like, I would have just soaked it anyway because yeah, the TIE Fighters can't handle the crit. Yeah. Uh, Y-Wing can be like, oh, well, shrug. Yeah. 
and yeah, a bunch of them have taken damage. So that oh, and there he's spending Wampa. Been dead ships. Oh, 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 my oh shit! Greg's dice have been crazy. Those dice. Into a blank. Oh my gosh. He's not putting him deep enough, oh well. And so that's one, two, three, four on number two there, eh? Or it looks like just two hull left in that last one. Yeah, on uh, I think this, this is gonna that's, be a very short round one. That's guys. this guy, isn't it? Yeah. Shields down and two hull left. Whoop, two hull left. This is gonna be a very short round one. He's trying, he's trying hard here. So we got two hits into another. Right? What? At what point does this cross into cruel and unusual? He oh, says. No, sorry, no, that was a. Uh, yeah, sorry, no, that was the top one. The other guy's still full because he's up at the top of the map. Oh, the there. top one's still full. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Uh, and that's number four is actually still full. Six, uh, six hall, two shooting. And so that was this poor bastard right here. He is definitely dead. Wow, that is three dead Y wings. Yeah. Really should have dropped that bomb there. It's okay, he's got this now. He's just gonna like yeah, solo right. the rest of the list. That's he's right. got it. He's got 35 minutes to finish wrecking this guy up. Yeah, just one damage at a time. I mean, honestly, he just wanted to play in hard mode. That's right. That's right. We gotta, we gotta respect the guy. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> I'm playing easy mode today. Right? Gray 4 versus the world. <laughs> Is that like the reboot of Boy versus World? Actually, I think it's gonna be the name for episode 10. <laughs> High SPS, yeah, that's right. You got to PS kill him now with the Y wing. High SPS on the board. That red barrel roll, though, right, guys? Yeah, I I agree, Elnar. He he had some he had some good ideas, but a terrible execution. Yeah, yeah, definitely needed to drop the bombs. Yep, yep, yep. We can only hope that he goes back, potentially, and watches this and realizes, oh yes, I had bombs. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully not before the end of the day. Or I guess I should say before the end of the day, he well, realizes see, that he's What he's he actually has doing is what I like to turn the submarine strategy. Lose your first match. Yeah. And then you're paired against people of a lesser caliber. That's right. And you just beat the snot out of those guys all day or you get and really hope to get luck. the rest of your win. So you end up with like five and one for the day. Yeah, that's right. Or you just have really bad luck and you end up playing against one of the guys who lost between two of the best players yeah. in the room. Yeah. And he wrecks your face and then you're zero and two and you just decide to drop out and get drunk yeah, I mean, that's, that's definitely a possibility as well no i agree i agree it's not it's not really his fault um stream is stressful i agree uh we always give people an option uh to bow out if they don't want to to be on stream um nobody did though everybody was like that sounds good oh failed barrel roll there yeah, I actually have never. Glenn's had me on stream twice, and I've made bad plays both times. Oh, man, both times. You, yeah. It's like you were Which like, is, this is my first time putting you in dials. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, my name's Graham. <laughs> I'm playing Rebels. So, yeah, I know all about it when you're on stream. Yeah. I think the best thing to do, and I'm going to do this in the future, and I've kind of talked myself into this, is... When you're on stream, just pretend you're not even on stream. Yeah. It's the best thing to do. Yeah, yeah. Just don't even worry about Honestly, it. Honestly, when I'm on stream, I just play for the shiggles. Yeah, that's right. Like, I don't that's even right. care if I win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah we, we might be a little snarky, but it's snarky with love. That's right. Snarky with love. We love all players of the game of X. That's right. All skill levels are required to play this game. Yes. And even if you're not a top tier pilot, you know what? Are you having fun? That's what matters. Right now, Darren Ooh, is not I think that's going to be another fun. failed barrel roll. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, he witches it in there. I oh, I thought he was going to hit his buddy. That wine wings up shit creek. He is, he is boned. Yeah. He is, uh, as we like to say, really boned. Lay boned. It's like, uh, oh, God, have you seen Formula 51? Which one? The lizard. Formula 51 with uh, uh, Meatloaf as the lizard. No. The Oh, man. He's like this drug kingpin. And he's like, ah, I've been ass invaded. <laughs> Don't, definitely haven't seen that. 
Ch I have best seen worst Flight movie I've ever seen. Puppets, though. I've seen Flight with Sock Puppets. What? Flight with Sock Puppets. No. I interviewed Denzel Washington. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. Nice. Yeah, look up, look up on YouTube, guys. Flight with Sock Puppets. You'll get a yeah. good laugh out of it. Yeah, exactly, Paul. This is fine. This is fine. Why would he excel under this sort of thing? <laughs> It's like that, uh, the meme of the dog in the room on fire. This is fine. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> now, Greg is flying this very well. He obviously has quite a bit of experience with this yep. list. I think it's a good strategy. I honestly, like, I think anything Empire right now, Swarm. <laughs> has a very good matchup against the Rebel Oh man, beef. Re the just, Swarm, there's a Rebel Beef for where it's at right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. It just, it's just such a good counter to them. No, I agree, Paul. You know, he's got one ship left, but you know what? He's not letting that stop him. That's right. He's like, I'm gonna take you with me, That's you right. sons of he's bitches. He's going for the points, man. At yeah. the end of the day, it's round one. Go for as many Go points Go for merchant. As Get as much merchant as you can. Yeah. And yeah, I gotta, I gotta give him kudos for not just like packing it in and shaking hands. We do have two of those here today. Two of the hyperspace uh, quad fang lists. Wait, believe... there's two quad fangs? Yeah, uh, I saw the triple fangs with Han. Oh, maybe that's the other one I'm thinking yeah, of. Yeah. Okay, I thought he was playing. But he calls that baby teeth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's great. That's really bad, but it's great. Um, no, and then uh, my friend Sean is playing, uh, I believe, Fen Rao and then three of the PS1s. Oh, Fen and the, and the Skull Squadrons? That's right, or yeah. no, the uh, uh, Zealous uh, Recruit. Zealous Recruit, yeah. And the, those are all, that's exactly 200 points. Yeah. The fact that it all fits is actually pretty cool. Oh, man, yeah, I agree. Highly maneuverable blockers. They, they want to be at range one. They always want to joust. Yeah. They always want to be at range one. They always want to be in your arc at range one. And, Concord uh, yeah, they man. just... Concord oh, dawn. look at me turn that up. Oh, look at me turn that up. So look at me turn that good. up. I love it. Yeah. Uh, Fangs are my favorite ship. Fenrau, Old Terry, yeah. top of the Scary heat, man. Scary Terry, baby. Scary, Scary Terry. Terry. Scary Terry. Terry. You yeah. got it. The moment I see him on the board, I'm like, that guy's going to die. Oh, he's rolling out, trying to get a little ways away. He's got out of one of those arcs. It looks like he's still going to take two shots, but that one that might one be obstructed. That looks obstructed to me. You kind of see the tip. Yeah, it's just the tip. Yeah, yeah just, just the tip. Just yeah. the tip, everybody. <laughs> Always wear protection, kids. Yeah. <laughs> AKA debris. Here he goes. Here he goes. Uh, single crit. And uh, well, one of eight is enough. That's the one debris I actually don't own, and I would like it. I don't know why I don't. You have don't it. own this? No, because I bought my. I bought my. Oh, you um, bought yours second hand. Second hand. Yeah. And he only sent me the two, so I don't have the phallic Ooh. looking debris. Okay, so we got that. Oh. Oh, what the heck? Greg's dice are hot as hell they're right nuts. now. They're Hit nuts. Crit, crit. I actually feel really bad for Darren this game. His his dice have not been. Oh, it looks like he'd actually was shields down earlier, and I didn't notice. Which means that was all against his hull. I think he took some crits too. So. No, he's uh, one, two, three, four. four. Shit. I think one was a direct. I think that might have been a direct. I can't. Oh my gosh! Wow! Best strategy, roll Nats. That's game There's boys. one evade. That's, game. that's not going to be enough. And. Let's see if he puts out the handshake here. And the other crit. And that, that like is, is that. 27 wow. minutes left in the match. And he packs it in. Wow. A good, valiant effort by Darren Weston. Uh, attempting to bring the Empire to heal, but when you got five interceptors facing you down, that is some tough, tough it is. uphill and battle. And when the dice are on your side like they were for Greg there, I, I actually kind of wish that we counted right? how many crit, crits he got there, because there was a lot of crits. There was a lot of natty crits, man. a lot man. of natty crits yeah. that game. Right? Squints take the day! All right, guys, um, we are going to cut here briefly. Uh, we're going to take a break for probably the next at least half hour. Yep. Uh, we will be back roughly around 1130, I believe, uh, with the next pairings uh, and the next match. So uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us. Don't forget. If you're watching the archive, like and subscribe. Leave some comments in the comment section down below. Uh, Rearview one, I'm sorry. I don't know if I can get Andrew up there. We're just doing random. He wants Andrew Lord to? 
Huh? Andrew Lawrenson? I don't know. Which, which, which Andrew? Which Andrew? There's so many Andrews here yeah, right now. There's quite a few Andrews. <laughs> Probably Lawrenson, though. Yeah, because he, he took his first round by just like I did. Oh, that's right. So, that's right. Oh, yeah, there he is, just standing there talking to Kalen now. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think he'll be at the top table just because his MOV technically will be... Uh, no, you're, well, your MOV is uh, 150, isn't it? Yeah, but if you go 200 and 0... Oh, yeah, good point. Right? Yeah. Like this, like, uh, Greg's MOV is going to be higher than, yeah. he, uh, yeah. than uh, me and uh, Andrews. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks again for joining us, and we'll be back in just over half an hour. All right, see you guys later.